Hello everyone, this is um, Priestess of Moot and I'm back with another video. So today, or oh, I, I should say early today, it is um, way after midnight. Um, I'm going to be talking about something I'm pretty sure I have not covered on this channel. Um, and this is based on um, what happened um, yes, two days ago. And... Uh, and everything so I have a friend called sorry I have a friend named Lang who got injured while he was working and so uh, he happens to be pagan he does not he's not he doesn't venerate a certain Patheon or anything like that and so he goes and he gets hurt. Uh, grease went into his eye and he had to get his eye flushed because there's no telling what's in the grease besides grease. Like when we're cooking the food for customers, it's not just grease that's coming off the grill, it's other stuff. So of course doctors are going to be worried that there is bad stuff. You get what I'm, I'm talking about. So, um, so he had to get his eye cleaned out. So before he left, I asked him because I'm a firm, I'm a big firm believer in gaining um, permission to do something. And um, I also learned something: don't ever do this when you're dead tired because you're going to fall asleep and leave your candle. <laughs> Candle oh, okay, yes, yes. Priestess of Mood left the candle unattended, but anyways. So, I get home, and I, I know that the deity to petition to is the goddess Sekhmet, because she is the patron goddess of healers, doctors, dentists, you know, people I gotta go to. Um, and so, you would go to Sekhmet, if you are, uh, if you or you go to where her priests are at to get work done, and there's evidence of like brain surgery and, and all that interesting stuff. I thought that was an interesting read. So, anyways, so um, I go and I get his permission, and I when I come back home, I give you know I petition to segment and petitioning to me is what I do is I approach the divine and I present to her or him depending on what I'm asking for or requesting that I would like this particular god or goddess to help me in a particular situation um, one of the worst things in modern day paganism is the belief that you can go to, that you can use any kind of deity for any kind of spell work, which is absolutely not the thing you can do. Um, because they have strict spheres of influence and all that jazz. So I petitioned Segment for, to help Lang, to, you know, ask, you know, basically, you know, I, I would like you know, I would like him to not lose his eye. I would like everything to go well. And then, normally what I do is I will say, well, if you agree to do this, I will do this and this for you. I sort of forgot to do that. Um, which is, which I, I'm going to count it as I was dead tired and I, my brain was not operating kind of level of whatever. And so what I did was I offered segment incense. I gave her an offering of food and I poured out a libation of water. And the reason I'm still sticking with water is we still have ants. So I kind of, I kind of don't want to offer them any kind of delectable treat um, to dine on and crawl all over my shrine. So it's, it's, the, it's the water. Um, and then I fell asleep, and when I woke up, my my candle was completely burnt out. I was like, did I just do what I think I did? Oh, no, I did do it. But, so 
So how is petitioning different from, say, spell casting? So petitioning is a very ancient practice. Um, in fact, um, and I hate to say this, but Christians do it as well. They don't say, well, if you do this for me, they, I will do this and this. But they ask, they, they go to God, and they ask God to help them with something. It's a, it's a form of petitioning. Um, if you are in Hellenic polytheism, and there are some people that their, their form of Egyptian paganism goes along with, say, the, uh, the Ptolemyk, the, uh, the time when Greece, sorry, not Greece, sorry, I definitely am tired, the time when Egypt was Hellenized, and you have, say, uh, they equate Artemis with the goddess Bastet, um, you would, you know, you could burn whatever incense that you believe is connected either Bastet or to the goddess Artemis and ask, you know, and petition that way. So you would, you would burn the paper, like you would write your petition on a piece of paper, you would burn it, but then you would also add some incense to it as an offering so that the gods would know, hey, you're serious about what you would like to happen. And it's all up to the gods if they are going to say, okay, yeah, we'll do that for you. So, um, yeah, so petitioning is very different from spell casting. You don't need the right astrological correspondence. You don't need the right kind of stuff. You just need a piece of paper, your incense burner that you burn your whatever, and you just add a little bit of the incense to it uh, to basically, you know, seal the deal, so to speak. Um, so yesterday when Lang came back to work, he thankfully did not have anything over his eye, but he has to take an antibiotic to help because you don't know what's in that grease. Um, but... You know, I asked him, I said, hey, would you like me to petition Sekment to help you with your injury? And he was like, yes, that would be really great. Um, and that is, you know, I, I have that firm belief in asking permission before I do something. So <coughs> I am going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'm going to put this on YouTube. So I'll see you guys around. Bye.